Yeah, yeah, what it do, what it do, man. The young Dre and this motherfucker playing this clean Stop. ass Mass Effect Andromeda for the foe, you dig? Touchy feely time. Just chilling and shit right now. Just Don't going to see my brother. Just enough. woke up. I Let's get it back Saturday, to it, man. Then Sunday. All right, go on. Then I figured someone turned the alarm off. Well, I sure missed having you around. We've hit a few rough patches along the way. You better be in my crew, nigga. Shit. No one could have saved him, Scott. I wasn't even sure I should tell you. I'm glad you did. That would have been a hell of a thing to wake up to. I'll miss him. But right about now, he'd be telling us to stop moaning and get on with it. There's no shortage of things to do. Yeah, I hear you're the great and honorable Madam Pathfinder. Please, mm. it's nothing like that. Well, then I guess I'll give you a free pass on telling me we found home. Uh... I'm only your little brother by one minute. You don't have to go easy on me. As soon as I get my gear, well... Careful. No way are you fit for duty, sir. You need a chance to mend. Yeah, says who? The Pathfinder, that's who. Time to rest up. That's an order, Specialist Rider. <sighs> <laughs> Pulling rank already. Better hope I never tell anyone about that year you only ate paste. Was it first grade or second? <laughs> you can keep talking if you'd like. Just... No arm wrestling. <laughs> My brother. Rider, this is Pathfinder Rika. We have a plan for Meridian. Please come by the tech lab as soon as you can. Yeah. Will do. Hey. You feeling out of the loop, I imagine? A little. Though I've heard bits and pieces of things from Harry and the med techs. Sounds pretty serious. Just the fate of the entire initiative. Every man, woman, child, and everything in between facing certain extinction. The usual. Oh. Well, I'm sure the Pathfinder manual covers that. <laughs> yeah. We'll have it wrapped by lunch. There's a race of aliens called the Cat. They're led by a scary nutjob named Archon who wants to turn all of us into them. We both want Meridian, which is the heart of an alien terraforming network trying to activate. We do that, maybe we live. Look at my big sister being all proactive. Meanwhile, I'm mastering the art of peeing in a plastic jar. You should also know, Dad was keeping some secrets from us. Like what? Turns out Sam is even smarter than anyone knew. And Dad juiced his connection to Sam. It's a lot more powerful than other Pathfinders. So is mine. I guess rank has its privileges. What was Dad up to? Dad encrypted some of his memories in Sam. I've started unlocking them. What were they? You and I were there, so was Mom. You actually saw her? That reunion dinner she wanted us at so badly. Right. Dad was his usual talkative self. But there was something else. I saw Dad talk with a benefactor in the Milky Way. Some initiative bigwig I'd never heard of. That's news to me. Yeah. I'm still hoping I can figure out what it all means. Getting close to the end, man. Feeling homesick at all? Still trying to get my sea legs, but I think about what might have been if everything hadn't gotten screwed up. Screwed up how? I start with mom dying. I never cried so hard. And dad? He was never the same after that. He put so much into Sam to save her, but, well, AI's as illegal as it gets in the Milky Way. After the Alliance kicked him out for it, everything changed. Suddenly, being Alec Ryder's kid was a black mark. You and I were never going to live that down. What do you think would be different? Well, while you were looking for Prothean artifacts, I was standing watch over a Mass Effect relay. Hell of a thing to stare at every day. I dream about what was on the other side, the adventures I would have, the things I would accomplish. But when everything got screwed up, well, I guess I'll never know. I thought maybe we could talk about mom and dad. Sure. 
What about them? You still think about Mom? Yeah. Especially now. I wonder what she'd say if she could see us. Dad talked about her before we went on our first mission. Really? After she died, Dad seemed to shut down. He hadn't talked about her in years. He loved her. I think he was just lost. We all were. What do you remember about how they met? Well, she was in the Alliance, researching early biotic implants. That's about the time she met Dad. Yeah, biotics. He was on Earth for Unseven training, I think. He says he swooped in and swept her off her feet. Had a whole bad boy in uniform vibe that was irresistible. Dad? I guess it worked. They got married. Then the first contact war started, and he was sent off to fight. After that, we were born. And Dad was posted to the Citadel as an attaché. Oh, shit. What do you remember about Mom's biotic research? Mostly that it's the thing that finally killed her. Biotics weren't unknown back then. So were the dangers. All sorts of rare diseases hit people working around Ezo. Mom was trying to design implants to help people harness their abilities. Yeah. She was a pioneer. Oops, excuse me. She actually gave it to him. What do you remember about growing up on the Citadel? Big space station chock full of all sorts of aliens. Scary at first, but pretty soon I was playing laser tag with Turian and Solarian kids. <laughs> Looking back on it, maybe that's why I'm here. Yeah. The Citadel tight. showed me life has no limit on possibilities. Tight, tight, it made tight. me ask, what else is out there? Yeah, man. Thought you might want to know how Dad died. I was going to ask you. Habitat 7. There was this alien terraforming machine that had us stranded. Dad figured it out and shut it down. That saved us our ass. Then, all oh, hell broke loose. My helmet got smashed. I couldn't breathe. I was suffocating. Then Dad gave me his helmet. He sacrificed himself? Only one of us could make it, and he didn't hesitate. He was a hero. All those stories about him being an N7, kicking ass in the military. I always thought they were exaggerating. Uh, you should have no. seen him in action, taking out Ket left and right. It was amazing. Huh. Dad, the badass one-man army. Pretty mm. good way to remember him. Well, I'll let you take it easy then. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how slammed I am. Got a nap, mm -hmm. then doze a bit, then try mm. to catch up on sleep. Mm. It'll get better. Not before you find that meridian. I want in. Oh, I'll yeah. take pictures. Oh yeah. This is not good. Definitely not doing that. Journey to the meridian. No, no, no. Almost at the end, man. Almost at the end, man. Got Titanfall 2 coming. That shit should be here by Tuesday. Now I heard that shit is hella dope. So I waited for the second one, because the first one, I don't even think the first one had a uh, single player campaign on it. That's all I do is play single player campaign. <laughs> I mean, I, I, sometimes I, I hop on the multiplayer, but I don't know, it's just not me. It's just... Psst, Pathfinder Rider. What's going on? Why are you whispering? I'm planning a surprise for Superintendent Kesh. She's always complaining that our stock of spirits is tame. I hear Kadara Port is famous for bizarre homebrews. Supposedly pack a powerful bunch. Hoping you can pick some up and keep it quiet. I'll see if I can find some. Excellent. Oh shit.
I'm worried about this place if the cat find you. You sure look thoughtful. Just thinking about the first time Cash got her hands on a toolkit. Master engineer from the day she was born? Quads, no. She worked hard at it. Let's see, the first time, yeah, was our power generator. She took it apart. <laughs> With the blood side. Wouldn't that cause shorts or something? She liked the fireworks. You can imagine what it was like when she figured out that cracking open bigger things made even bigger sparks. Dell told me you saw her arguing with Spender. Pijak's doing his best to throttle my department. How's he getting away with that? Spender doesn't know the first thing about engineering, but he knows how to play people. More importantly, he still talks to the Exiles. I'm sure of it. I just can't prove it without your help. This needs to be investigated. I'm glad someone thinks so. Talk to Canvos. He likely has security footage, some kind of evidence. But you'll have to convince him to authorize release. Nothing more for now. See you later. The extra resources from the colonies are really easing our workload. Glad to hear it, Cash. Animal did this? Affirmative. I am able to track it. What the heck did I write here? I can't read my own writing. Thanks for understanding about the outpost and the protesters. You don't strike me as a political type. I'm not. Just pro keeping everyone alive. Maybe those protesters will eventually understand too. It's done. I don't want to think about it. Need something else? Uh, yeah, I do. And about, uh, couple of minutes I was told I should talk to you about the mutiny I wasn't on the Nexus when it happened I started reading up on it but you know how things get around here do you know where Spender was during that time why Spender wait you think he might have had something to do with the mutiny maybe just trying to sort things out you know the logs I did look through showed a few discrepancies I meant to dig deeper if you're investigating how about I give you access to the security vid archives? Thank you. Anything else? Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Huh, this file won't play. Sam, can you boost the quality? Processing. Playback initiated. Wait, is he handing something over to one of the mutineers? Take this thing. It'll help you. Don't.